Hey guys, it's Paul. I'm going to give you a quick demo on Evernote. I've been putting off using Evernote for a while. In fact, I've signed up to it before and not really jumped into it. But um, I'm going to give you, everybody uses it. Everybody says Evernote. Uh, you, you see them in videos and somebody says, oh, you know, I put it in my Evernote and I come back to it later. So Evernote's thing is um, remember everything. You can, you can track URLs, you can save files, you can... Um, you know, write down your thoughts, organize your thoughts, you know, have a to-do list, have dates on them. It's basically, here it is, look, it says at the top, remember everything, which that's obviously why there's an elephant logo. I never, I wondered why is there an elephant logo, but obviously it's remember everything. So obviously elephants do, don't they? So I'm just going to dive in and show you because if you're like me and you're wondering what it's all about, um, then I think it's gonna be easy for me to show you. So one of the main reasons, I'm gonna set up a new, I'm gonna do it for golf because um, I basically went for a golf lesson and and uh, the, the golf coach said, you need to start taking notes on, on every time you play. You need to, every time you practice, write down what you did, what you did good, what you did bad, what you need to practice on. And then when you go to practice, write down what you're gonna practice and then practice, and then what you learn from it afterwards. And I'm thinking, well, that's cool. I'll do a note, a note on me thing. And that I've just thought Evernote, Evernote's probably perfect for this, right? But you're gonna see, there's other things it can do too. So I'm just gonna set up golf at Paul Nicholson. It's not real email, so don't email me. I, it will come to me though. But uh, and then it, as you log in, I'll save that. How are you gonna use it uh, to be more productive? Take better notes. Organize. I guess it's gonna. Got to talk you through. I don't think it matters which one of those you click on, um, and it's going to talk you through all the video things you can do. Use Evernote for PDF, organize documents, PDFs with Evernote for desktop, so you can download the desktop version and d uh, add the web clipper for when you're browsing web. So you need these two things to make it easier. So what I will I'll actually download it. So that's going to download the app for my Mac. For you, if it's on Windows, it'd probably say Windows. Now this Web Clipper is an ex is a extension for uh, Chrome. Now when I click on it, it doesn't work, but that's probably something to do with my Mac playing up. So I'll just do open link in a new tab. So right click, I right click there if you don't, if you don't open. And it comes to this Web Clipper. I'm gonna add extension. It's gonna put the elephant up in the corner. And when I come in, it's has it automatically logged me in? Yeah, so I'm going to close that for now and I'm going to come back to it, right? So I've, I've installed the app for Chrome. There's obviously a mobile app as well. I'm not going to go through that in this video. But if um, if you want me to do some sort of tutorial on a mobile app, I will. Uh, I'm going to open up the app for my Mac. Let me drag this over. Let's start doing it. And then I'm going to continue it. Right, so I've I've installed it on my computer and I've I've got the app on the uh, on Chrome. So it's going to show you create your first note, set a reminder, save web articles, sync to your phone. So I'm going to show you three. I'm not going to go through phone, even though it's probably an important thing for you to be able to do it on the fly. Um, just because I don't want to drag. I know these videos get like if if I do everything, it, it turns into a 40 minute video, and I'll. Um, I'll come back to the phone stuff in a video. I'll put a link at the end of the video for the phone stuff. So create your first note. So your notes are basically like, you know, just thoughts. So, you know, um, so what I'm doing, I'm saying I'm doing it through golf. So I went yesterday um, and I guess what, I'm gonna put take dead aim. Uh, I don't know, aiming straight help. Now this is actually, <laughs> this was actually a thought yesterday. Stop setting up right right so that's just the first first um, note in that in this up here it says first notebook so you've got a note so you basically if you imagine you've got a little obviously uh, I've got one in front of me I can't show you you used to have a little notebook didn't you write notes then imagine if you had ten of them so that's put it in my um, that's put it in the first notebook which is if I go to notebooks, there's obviously a first notebook, but if I want to add a notebook, I might put golf diary. 
great notebook. Right, now I'm gonna go back to that note. And I'm, now there's a little drop down arrow there. I'm gonna put it in golf diary and I might put uh, golf diary as a tag. Uh, golf practice, right? Uh, so then it's gonna be tags here. There's gonna be notebooks here, my first notebook. So I might wanna get rid of that because it doesn't do anything. Um, I might want to add um, a notebook that says um, like YouTube videos or YouTube learning, maybe something like that, or just learning it might be. So I'm gonna I have a notebook for that. Well, so I'm gonna have a notebook for uh, set a reminder, so it says in hours two, set a reminder, never forget anything. So what you do on this one, so say, um, say I had a notebook for lessons. Right, oh no, that's searched it, didn't I? So lessons, create a notebook and then add a note. It's, a probably, it's one of them, it's one of them, um, it's one of them programs where there's all sorts of different ways to click to get to the same place. So I don't know, I'm gonna put a lesson with pro uh, practice chipping after last lesson. Uh, remember to ask about putting, I don't know, right? Uh, I'm trying to do it like as a real thing that I would do. And then up in this clock here is, is set reminder. So if I said my my next lesson is Friday uh, 16th of June. I might put, well, on 15th, I wanted to email me and, and tell me this. It might be a week before and done, right? Um, so I've set a reminder, save web articles. Right, so um, what you're going to do is now up here. So if I went, uh, what am I going to say? Um, I'm going to put a a new notebook that says motivation articles, right? Because I know where I'm going next, right? So if you go to a really cool website <laughs> that is happy-me.com, it's obviously part of, uh, well, Happy Me is my company. And I might go to um, free ways to boost your confidence, uh, how to persuade others to do, start small, Q and A, how can I overcome, yeah, so maybe I'll do this Brian Tracy, how can I overcome procrastination, and there's the video, and then I might say, up in the web clipper, I might save it as an article, uh, save it here to, uh, oh, it hasn't refreshed, does it, how do I refresh that? Uh, oh, oh man, that lost me, lost my place. Uh, so it hasn't synced, does it? So I've only just started using um, Evernote because it, it does look cool though. I have used it in the past for a few things. And it's not, it's my, to be honest, my Chrome is really playing up. Um, it's just off the chart annoying at the minute. Look, it's gone. <laughs> so anybody got any Chrome tips for a Mac? Mine drives me crazy. So, if I go up here and click save, oh, now it's there, it's synced, so just wanted to make me look a fool for a while. So motivational articles, right? I might add a tag, uh, procrastination, if I spelled that right, it'd be a miracle. Um, and then save it. And that's gonna save it to my motivation, um, part of my Evernote, even though it looks, oh no, it's gone now. And if I wanted to, I could share it. So I could share it with a friend, share it to LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, mail, share URL, right? So, you know, it, it shares it via Evernote, which is a little bit weird. But I mean, if you're sharing it to a friend, if you want to send it to a message in Facebook, share as a private message, then you can. So you can share it, but I'm just going to leave that. So I might go now to notebooks. Lessons, yeah. Is this you? So verify my email. 
So, notebooks, golf diary. No, what am I doing? Golf books, motivation. And now that it's grabbed the image, how can I overcome procrastination? And there's the link, right? So if I click on it. Oh, no, yeah, that's the wrong link. So. It's the wrong link. <laughs> Can't you are leaving Evernote, continue. So it's gonna go to, I obviously shared the wrong link, right? So same again, maybe I'll go to another cool website. Part of Happy Me Limited is Blue Jeans Media. So if you wanna come and um, learn anything, there's, there's like 54 free lessons. I'm a little bit worried about this lesson because it's actually called Procrastination Killer, which is interesting. That last video was procrastination, wasn't it? And uh, in the thumbnail, it just says killer. So I need to edit that. But um, it should say take course here. And you you, you would again just clip. If I, let me just fix that. Cause I know what it is. Uh, da, 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 da. So fixing my website always got me down as the uh, tutor as well, which is wrong. So if you've got Learn Dash, this is a little bit, there's a different training course for this, but author i want to change it to blue jeans media and i'm going to make that free and then what will happen is it will show take this course take this course right that's what i wanted to show so there yeah there's 54 different courses on there it's going to say take this course so you just have to register and log in some totally three um but again i might gonna i'm going to go up here sorry i got sidetracked there into motivational articles um take course a tag or you might have a new notebook that's that save it and it's going to add it again to that to this it's going to keep asking me so now I've got procrastination killer so this this time it's grabbed because I put the thing it's grabbed sort of a snippet of the article that's just actually grabbed the whole page so you can go to here it's a full web page where you can see everything that was shared uh, I'm not sure you can jump to the page like but oh there you go so yeah so if I want to go to here I jump it's gonna jump me out so it's really cool to start organizing your thoughts organizing your your, your daily things starting to grab URLs for things to read later you know, um, I can see why people rave about it because it does seem to make sense and it seems to be simple. There's obviously paid versions that you can use, but um, by all by all accounts, it's um, so I just opened the app for uh, for the actual the app on the computer. This is not me. So let me I'll sign out. It's me playing earlier, right? Um, yeah. So apparently that it would take a lot of data before you need to start paying but obviously I, I don't think um, uh, it's only like three pound fifty a month three dollars fifty a month for the most expensive so again the app um, your, your notebooks you, you know your articles are gonna jump you in it's gonna um, organize yourself sync to an Evernote account is Again, oh, that's what this button is for. So that will sync across the web and um, your phone. <coughs> if you use it on your phone. Um, what's that button do? Oh, presentation mode. This is a premium feature. Oh, sorry, so it just, if, you know, move through your presentation. I, I should have read it there, but I read it. I should have uh, looked here, but I can't be bothered. So, also what you can do is is obviously share files and add files so if i go new um all notes a uh, new note in motivational article right and i might just go um uh, i don't know happy me image then it says drag and drop a um image so if i come to here and go, I don't know, happy me, here we go, just drag and drop something, you can drag it in, chuck it in, um, obviously if I 
refresh there's probably a sync button I hope we don't have to refresh the old page um, it probably sync a doody so if I go there now Yeah, there it is. There it is now. Look, so it is synced across my devices. It'll put it. You know, it's probably an easy way to share from your phone to your, to your, to your computer, a picture. You know, so I always think, how do I, you know, what's the easiest way to share this video or share this thing? You can just chuck it in there, um, and it seems like it's just going to organise you a bit better. You know, for me, it's a quick way of doing it. It's a free way of doing it. Um, you know, obviously you've got business, I've got business stuff, so I'm gonna be using my, I'm gonna use it for my golf stuff, but that'll just be one notebook. I'll use it for sales, for, you know, what what YouTube videos to do. So I might do uh, YouTube videos to do. Is it to do or to do? I don't know. Private or shared, I guess I'm gonna keep it private. You can always share later. And then I might put in, you know, a new note. New York in YouTube, uh, create Evernote video, do research. Uh, oh, I'm guessing this is a to do list log. Do research, um, make video, do edit, add to YouTube. Yeah. And then Uh, so now, if I go to it, I can obviously tick it off, can't I? I tick off what I've done. So it can be a to-do list as well. It, it, it looks like I, I'm just getting dragging on and dragging on. So I think you're getting a gist of what Evernote can do for you. I've, I've um, not done it for a while. Like I've always known everybody says Evernote, and I've never got into it. So I'm purposely going to get into it now because it does look cool, and it does look like... Um, you know, I use Trello a little bit to, to do my um, my to do list for YouTube. But the minute I don't um, I don't I don't use Evernote, but it does look better. I don't really have a note system. I just kind of remember stuff. But that does look like it'll organise me a bit more. Uh, so come visit me at paulnicholson.com. You've seen hi, Blue Jeans Media is my training website. There's 54 as of today. I mean, what's today? For the first of June. 2017 there's 54 free training courses on all sorts of stuff um so give that a, uh, give that a view happy me is um thousands of videos that should be motivational for you or should give you something to think about um so any questions leave them below but what i'm interested in is is what you're up to what are you using evernote for what are you using something else for you know are you um, you know, you're starting your own band. Are you, you know, on a training program? Are you uh, trying to, I don't know, do something fantastic and you're going to start tracking your ideas? You never know. You're writing a book or you're writing a movie or, you know, I'm interested in what you're up to. I've, I've got a dream or a goal to help, help 10 million people before 2020 uh, close the gap between their potential and their results. Um, and you're, the problem I've got is your, you'll see on my YouTube header that I believe your potential is unlimited. So uh, what I'm interested in is what are you up to? What are you, so you'll see on my YouTube header, if I haven't changed it, I already believe you have unlimited potential and I do. So tell me what you're going to use um, Evernote for. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm just fascinated by everybody who's watching. So thanks for watching. Um, have a great day. Go get them. Use Evernote, use whatever you're using to, uh, to really push them dreams forward. Uh, and I'll see you all again soon. Thanks for watching.